today let us consider problems on linear programming consider the problem a manufacturing company makes two models a and b of a product each piece of model a requires 9 labor hours for fabricating and 1 labor hour for finishing each piece of model b requires 12 labor hours for fabricating 3 labor hour for finishing for fabricating and finishing the maximum labor hours available are 180 and 30 respectively the company makes a profit of rupees 8000 on each piece of model a and rupees 12000 on each piece of model b how many pieces of model a and model b should be manufactured per week to realize a maximum profit what is the maximum profit per week from the data we can observe that a company makes two models a and b now we have to find out the number of pieces of model a and number of pieces of model b to get the maximum profit let number of pieces of model a can be taken as x and number of pieces of model b can be taken as y now from the data there are two types of labor hours for each model a and model b are required one is fabricating hour another one is finishing hour now if we consider model a model a requires 9 labor hours for fabricating so let us divide the table into two parts fabricating hour and finishing hour if we consider model a model a requires 9 fabricating hour and 1 finishing hour similarly model b requires 12 labor hours for fabricating 3 labor hour for finishing so model b requires 12 fabricating and 3 finishing hours it is also given that the maximum hours available for fabricating and finishing are 180 and 30 respectively so the total fabricating hour must be less than or equal to 180 and finishing hour must be less than or equal to 30 let us formulate the mathematical expression to this table the expression must be considered along the row or column which has the total that means now we have the total along row wise so now let us form the mathematical expression to this data the given data is related to profit function and profit must be maximum always therefore the optimal equation is maximize z equal to it is given that the company makes profit of rupees 8000 from each piece of model a and we have x pieces of model a so the profit will be 8000x similarly the company makes profit of rupees 12000 on each piece of model b and we have y pieces of model b so the total will be 12000y therefore the optimal equation is maximize z is equal to 8000x plus 12000y subject to the condition the conditions are formulated along the row or column which has the total now we have the fabricating total r and finishing total r that is 180 and 30 along row wise so equation can be formed like 9x plus 12y less than or equal to 180 so subject to the conditions 9x plus 12y less than or equal to 180 second equation is 1x Plus three y 
less than or equal to 30. x plus 3y less than or equal to 30. And we should know that for all the LPP questions, there should be non-negative conditions. They are x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0. So this is the mathematical form of given linear programming problem. The solution to this linear programming problem that is graphical solution will be continued in the next video. Now let us consider the graphical solution to this problem. The optimal equation is maximize z equal to 8000x plus 12,000y. Subject to the conditions 9x plus 12y less than or equal to 180, x plus 3y less than or equal to 30 along with that x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0. Now let us consider the first inequality that is 9x plus 12y less than or equal to 180. Now consider the equality part of that 9x plus 12y equal to 180. If we simplify this, this can be written as 3x plus 4y equal to 60. Now to draw the graph, first we have to form the coordinates. So consider x and y values put x equal to 0 we will get 4y equal to 60 so y is equal to 15 if we put y equal to 0 so 4y becomes 0 so 3x equal to 60 x is equal to 20 consider second equation that is x plus 3y equal to 30. If we put x equal to 0, 3y equal to 30, y equal to 10. If we put y equal to 0, so 3y equal to 0, so x is equal to 30. So using these values, we can draw the graph. Now let us draw the graph. Consider the first equation. 9x plus 12y equal to 180 or 3x plus 4y equal to 60. The points related to this equation is 0, 15. Means x value 0, y value 15. So x is 0, y is 15. This is the point. Second point 20, 0. x value 20, y value 0. So this will be the point. If we join these two points, will get a straight line like this. The equation related to this is 3x plus 4y less than or equal to 60. As it is less than or equal to the solution region will be like this. Now consider second equation x plus 3y equal to 30. Coordinates related to that are 0, 10. x value 0, y value 10. So this will be the point. 30, 0. x value 30, y value 0. So this will be the point. If we join those two, we will get a straight line like this. Again, the inequality is x plus 3y less than or equal to 30. Therefore, let us shade below the line means left side of the line now if you observe the diagram the merging solution region will be considering four corner points those four corner points are marked like this a b c and d now, if we consider A, the coordinates of A are 0, 10. 
consider B as it is origin coordinates 0, 0. If we consider C, the coordinates of C are 20, 0. Now finally, we have to find out coordinates of D. For this, let us solve the equations related to that point. Means D is the point of intersection of 3x plus 4y equal to 16 and x plus 3y equal to 30. If we solve these two equations using elimination method, we will get the values of x and y. That is, to solve this equation, multiply the second equation by 3. So, we will get 3x plus 9y equal to 90. If we subtract these two, we will get 9y minus 4y that is 5y equal to 90 minus 60 that is 30. So 5y equal to 30, y equal to 6. If we substitute y equal to 6 in any one of the equation, then we will get the value of x. So x plus 3y, y is 6 now, so 6 3 is a 18 equal to 30. If we simplify this, we will get x is equal to 30 minus 18, that is 12. So, the coordinates of D are x, y, that is 12, 6. Now, let us find out the maximum value of the function. For this, consider A with coordinate 0, 10. Substitute the value of x as 0 and y as 10 in the optimal equation. Then we will get the value of the equation will be 1,20,000. Consider B with coordinate 0, 0. Replace x as 0, y as 0. So the value of the function will be 0 only. Consider C that is 20, 0. If you replace x equal to 20 and y equal to 0 in this equation, we will get 1,60,000. And finally, consider D with coordinate 12, 6. Replace x equal to 12 and y equal to 6 in this e equation. We get the value of the function will be 1,68,000. So, if we compare these values, the maximum value is 1,68,000. Company gets profit of 1,68,000 rupees when it produces 12 pieces of model A and 6 pieces of model B. Thank you.